All right, now we're to the fun part in the how to build a real estate agent WordPress website. Um, we are now going to set up our theme. So if you went ahead and set up your website and you downloaded your Genesis framework and you uploaded your or uploaded it and you uploaded your um, Agent Press Pro theme and you're looking at it and you're saying, Lori, it doesn't look anything like yours. I'm frustrated. That's because we have not yet set up your widgets. So yours is going to look something like this once we get it set up. Mine isn't completely finished and it's totally customizable. What I want to show you today is just how to get this basic theme up and running so that it looks good. And then you can, you can learn to play with more advanced features as you move along. Now, when you set up your Agent Press Pro theme, and oh, by the way, if you're brand new to this video and you've not been following along in the series, look below. There is a link for both the all-in-one WP Engine um, plans and themes. Or if you already have a WordPress website, you just want the theme, go down to the second line and I'll give you the link to just the theme. Uh, these are my affiliate links. I do benefit when you make a purchase through one of my links. Once you buy your package, you can access the doc file or the setup file and you're going to see this page here. And this page here is going to walk you through exactly what I'm doing right now, which is your step by step. Okay. We already did the pre-installation setup. We already installed the activation of Genesis and the Agent Press Pro child theme. Now you can look through each one of these steps as you go. We are going to go right down here and start on background image. So I'm going to show you exactly where these shows up, show up. I'm going to toggle back and forth between my two screens, but they have uh, they have screen capture here too. So background image. So up top, you'll see Agent Press Pro. Then you'll see your theme. The second one down is background image. So let's look at it in real life here. We're going to go to appearance, customize. Okay, see, there's the title of our website, Agent Press Pro theme, site identity, background image. Click there. Okay. Uh, your background image is this picture right here. You see how I have a kitchen back there. That's your background image. It shows up behind the scenery there. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick what kind of picture you want to show up um, on there. And if you want to see what this looks like on mobile, go to my website, which is gosummerlin.com. Go, G O. S-U-M-M-E-R-L-I-N.com, gosummerlin.com. You can see what this looks like on mobile as well. I use Canva to set up the proper dimensions for my images and to download images. So what you're going to look at right here is it tells you in the tutorial that your Image used is 1600 by 870. That's the one that was used on the website as a demo, 1600 by 870. If you use a photo that's too small and you try to stretch it, it'll pixelate or blur. It'll look really funny. And if you take one that's too large and it tries to shrink it down, then it may crop in the wrong spot. So it's best to start with the correct uh, dimensions of your image. So what I do, we're going to open a new tab and we're going to go to canva.com. Now, Canva is free, and then they have a paid version as well. I do have the premium version, and you'll be able to see as we're navigating if there's a if it's a pro or premium, it's marked with like a little crown. So we're going to go to create a design. This, this part's free, custom dimensions, and then looking back here, it says 1600 by 870. So we're going to do 1600 by 870, create design. Okay, now we're going to just want to upload an image here. Um, we could put a placeholder by finding a template that already has a full size picture that we want to replace, or we can just start from scratch with our own. Um, so it really just depends on what you want to do. In my case, just uploading a photo directly work, seems to work just fine on here. So I'm going to go to photos and now you're, wherever you see the money sign, there is a dollar charge to use that video, to use that image one time. But if there's also a lot of free ones. So let's just say um, 
there you want to download a living room. So you want a couch instead. Click free and then it'll show you only the free images. Now there was one that I really liked that was red and white that was used. So you want to kind of find something that matches your theme. Living room. Ooh, pretty. I like that. I like that living room. Um, let's see. I want to see if there's anything. Let's try using some. Ooh, that one's pretty. Again, you want to find something that looks like your area. You know, I'm in Vegas. So I want to make sure it looks like a house that's in Vegas. If if I pick a stock art photo and there's these big, tall, beautiful trees pouring into the windows, it might be very obvious that that's not Vegas. Okay, now let's see what I can find that's red. Living room red. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look at that one. So you can drag this around however you want, crop it however you want, but you want to make sure it's it fits in this size here. I like that. That one's really pretty. Okay, let's see what else. Let me see if there's anything else that jumps out. Oh, this one's really pretty too. Little plane in the background there. This one would be would be good if I'm doing build doing my 55 plus community, which I'm doing next after this one. So I got to keep my eye on that one. I like that one. Um, all right, so let's just go back to. Let's see what this one looks like. That one's pretty. Okay, so let's just say, um, no, I don't like that one either. I'm going to go back to this one. Okay, so let's say, see how this looks. So now I'm going to go to um, download, download it, and um, whatever options it shows that you have here, you can download this in a JPEG, JPG, perfectly fine. Um, I would just say make sure that your photo size is under like 500 kilobytes. You really don't even need it to, need it to be more than, a, it can be a very small file and look fine. But you, what you don't want to do is download this in the PNG that it suggests straight as is without resizing because it might be a megabyte or two megabytes and it's going to be so large that it slows down the website. In this particular case, because I have a premium version, I can compress it and it'll be the right size for me here. Um, but otherwise, just download it in a JPEG. And um, if it gives you small, medium, or large options, I usually download it like in a medium. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this. Title it as a keyword, Summerlin Real Estate featuring a red living room. Okay, now we're gonna go back over. We're on background image, there we go, background image. Select image, there we go, perfect. Okay, I, I shot ahead. So see there, now see how the top changes? So that is, that is your first step, is to go ahead and set up your background image.